Crime dramas have been a staple in pop culture for decades, but how much of what you actually see is real? That's what we're here to find out. Forensics case number one, zoom in and enhance. Okay, we've all seen this scenario. An epic heist takes place, all the cameras have been disabled, and the crooks get away scot-free with millions of dollars. Or do they? They didn't take into account the ATM camera two blocks down the road. Can we zoom in and enhance the footage on that camera to get a better look at their faces? Well, before we can find out, you need to know the makeup of a digital image. Basically, digital images are made up of millions of teeny tiny dots or squares called pixels. These are the smallest element of an on-screen digital image. The color and brightness of each pixel is measured and recorded as a numeric value, and they are divided into rows and columns so close together that they appear to be connected. This process is called digitizing an image. So once an image is digitized, can we zoom in and enhance a face that's been recorded from a great distance? Well, let's go find out. Okay, we're going to conduct a little photography experiment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my video camera and I'm going to set it right here. Then I'm going to take a walk to the very end of this conference room. It's about 75 feet, give or take. Now you want to get in close enough to see some kind of an identification mark. So in my case, we're going to use the mole that's right underneath my bottom lip. Now you're not going to be able to see my face right away because of the distance, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my video editing software to zoom in. And we're finally going to put to rest whether or not zoom in and enhance actually works. Now as you can see, zooming in and enhancing an image doesn't work. You can zoom in as much as you want, but the only thing you're going to get are bigger pixels. Think of it like this, if your digital image were a painting and you got as close as you could to it after viewing it from a distance, you wouldn't see a clearer image, you'd only see the brush strokes. The only way to get a clearer image of something is to get as close as you can using as many pixels as you can to capture that image. Now video and photographic forensic techniques are always evolving, and they're evolving fast. We have technology now that we couldn't even dream of 20 years ago, or even 5 years ago. But the zoom in and enhance techniques that you see happen so easily in crime dramas don't always translate that well into the real world. Awesome drama and a good plot device, but definitely forensics.